Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another Valentine's wreath with some deco mesh and this heart sign that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm starting off with my bow first because I wanted to use this buffalo check ribbon and I wasn't sure how much I had left on the roll. I start my bow with five inch loops, one on each side. And my tail's around six inches. Now I'm going in with a one and a half uh, ribbon I had left over I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to stagger my bow down. So this, these loops are only going to be about four and a half inches. And I had just enough. I always try to use up all of my scraps so I put that to the side. Next I'm going in with some red ribbon I did purchase from Dollar Tree around Christmas time and these loops are going to be about 4 inches. So I gradually make my loops smaller as I go. Now I'm going to carefully remove my bow from the Easy Bow Maker, get my zip tie ready to go. I'm going to wrap it around the center part of that bow and I'm just going to start the zip tie. I'm not going to crank it all the way down. I just start it, pull it to the back, and I'm going to add a pipe cleaner in that zip tie before I crank it all the way down. This way I have a way of attaching it to my wreath. Now I crank it all the way down and it really makes the loops pop up and I'm going to trim off the zip tie off the back of the bow. I do feel like it's easier to fluff out a bow, or I believe they call breaking the bow, if you have a zip tie in. The loops are not going to go anywhere. Now when I trim up my ribbon tails, I do dovetail them. Um, I do a slant for the one and a half inch, but on the thicker ribbons, I always do a dovetail. Here's where I was trying to use up the scrap uh, ribbon left over and once I put it in the middle I just didn't like it so I just took it off. Do dovetail that one thicker red ribbon later. I just happen to miss it right now. Now I'm going to work on my deco mesh. Uh, my electronic device cut off so you didn't see the first part where I zip tie the edge to the actual frame but this is called the bubble method so there's no pipe cleaners added before I add my deco mesh. I'm going to add them as I go. I just make a little bubble and I take a pipe cleaner, I do cut them in half, and I wrap them around two bars of the heart wreath frame. Once I get the pipe cleaner twisted off in the back, I just kind of push it down the wire frame. I do not measure uh, my little poofs or my little bubbles. I just keep going. I ju I'm just kind of eyeballing it here and I'm just going to keep going until I make my way all the way around the heart wreath frame. Every time I add a pipe cleaner, I push the mesh down the frame of the wreath. I want this to be nice and tight and secure. Now 
it can get a little tricky once you reach the top part of that heart wreath. I just keep going and I show the wreath that I'm the boss of it, it's not the boss of me. I had to pull out another roll, so I did start with a straight edge, zip tie it to the frame, and I just keep making bubbles all the way around until I get to the end of the heart. I just trim it off and I take a zip tie, pull it to the back part of the heart frame and zip tie it to the frame. Now I want to clean up the back of the wreath. I'm just going through trimming up some, making sure they're twist tied off and then I tuck it back into the deco mesh. It was helpful that I did cut the pipe cleaners in half so they're not as long and it's not as wasteful either. I just keep going, making sure they're all twisted off, trimmed up, pushed back into the deco mesh until I make my way all the way around the heart wreath frame. Now I want to figure out my placement for the sign. I am going to use cable mounts on the back part of the sign, one at the top and one at the bottom. I feel like this is an excellent way to attach a sign to anything. I put the sign to the side for now because I forgot to turn my hot glue gun on, so that takes a minute to heat up. So while I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up, I'm going to use the red ribbon that I had left over from the bow and I'm going to make two bows for the bottom part of the heart. I'm just doing a hand tied bow. It's a very simple bow. I just loop, pinch and twist and I'm only doing two loops each and two tails. The best advice I have for anyone who wants to start making bows is to just practice. I use zip ties on these smaller bows as well. So I take the zip tie around the middle of the bow, I start the zip tie, take it to the back part of the bow where it won't be seen, and crank it all the way down. And I'm gonna add a pipe cleaner to the zip tie. This way I have a way of attaching it to the wreath. Once I get the bow made, I'm just gonna fluff it up and I'm gonna trim off that zip tie off the back and I'm gonna add it to the bottom part of the wreath. The bubble method for deco mesh makes it very easy to attach things. Uh, it just hides the mechanics well. I just take the pipe cleaners and feed it down through the deco mesh and I'm going to twist tie it off in the back. I felt like there was so much black and white going on on this wreath that it did need pops of red. Now I'm going to dovetail my ribbon tails.
I wanted to go ahead and add the bigger bow to the top part of the wreath. I wanted to make sure that I wanted to keep those red bows at the bottom. I just take the pipe cleaners all the way around to the back. The deco mesh is going to hide it and I'm going to twist tie it off. Here I'm just checking the placement of my sign and I'm taking a step back and I want to look and see if I want to keep those red bows at the bottom of the heart. So now I'm making the second red bow to go on the other side of the bottom part of the heart. And I'm just using the same method. I want a zip tie and a pipe cleaner. Now I'm going to add the last of the bows. And I just take those pipe cleaners around the wreath and the deco mesh is going to hide it and I twist tie it off in the back. I felt like I wanted to add some of these glittery foam hearts I purchased from the Dollar Tree to the wreath. This is also where I noticed that I missed dovetailing that one ribbon tail. Now it's time to add the sign. I'm going to use cable mounts on the back of the sign, one at the top and one at the bottom. They do come with a sticky adhesive. I always add extra glue just for extra security. Here I'm just adding glue to the back of the cable mount before I place it down on the sign. Now I'm going to feed my pipe cleaners through the cable mounts. and I twist tie the pipe cleaners to the cable mounts. Now I'm gonna feed the pipe cleaners to the middle part of the wreath frame. I 
I find the pipe cleaners around the back of the wreath and I just twist tie it to the frame. I wanted the sign to be on top of the deco mesh, so I'm not pulling it all the way through. I don't want it to be smashing the mesh. Now I'm gonna fix my bow. I kept it a smaller bow because I did not want it to interfere with the sign. There is a hole on the top part of the sign that I took the tag off of and I'm just going to cover that up with one of my little glittery heart embellishments. I wanted to add some more red hearts around the wreath frame just to give it little pops of red here and there. I did have these little ornaments that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. They all say love, but I felt like the red was not the right red for this wreath. When I add the hearts to the wreath, I just add some hot glue to the back of them and press it down into the mesh. I didn't want to overwhelm the wreath with all these little glittery hearts, and so I only added five. Two on one side, two on the other side, and then one at the bottom. This is where I step back and really look at the wreath to see if I want to add anything else to it. Next, I'm going to flip it over and I want to make sure everything is trimmed up and ready to go. Twist tying off the rest of the pipe cleaners, trimming them and tucking them back into the deco mesh. I just want it to look somewhat tidy. The pipe cleaners that are holding the sign, I do wrap around the wreath frame a few times. I just don't want that sign going anywhere. Okay folks, this is my completed project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.